Hello all, welcome to part 23 of API testing training series. In this session, I am going to explain about tail URL. So let's get started. So what exactly is this tail URL? Tail URL is another terminology which you can use on behalf of endpoint, okay, which is same as endpoint, okay? simple words, okay? So in real time, some people may refer this endpoint that I have explained in the previous session as tail URL, okay? So endpoint can be referred as tail URL in some conversations by some people. So here and there you may listen tail URL. Don't get confused. It's nothing but the endpoint in the API request. Okay, API request can be broken down into two parts. One is base URL, other one is the endpoint. Endpoint is also known as, also known as what? Here, tail URL. Okay, it's also known as tail URL. So just to recap again, if you go to this request dot in. So you see the documentation is provided by this application guys, okay? here for several API requests. All these are the API requests, okay? Different API requests are there here from here to here, okay? And they provided only the endpoint here. They didn't provide the entire API URL, rather they provided only the endpoint, only this portion, which is called as the endpoint they provided, guys. API unknown 23 is the endpoint, which is also known as tail URL, okay? What about the base URL? If you open this in new tab, you see, on the title or whatever it is, you can see the full full URL. HTTPS colon double slash request dot in slash API unknown 23. Here API unknown 23 was the endpoint. In other words, it's a endpoint or tail URL. But now this is a server address. This is a protocol. So this server address may change. And this part of the URL can be called as base URL. Okay, this may change. Uh, when the environments change, like queue environment or dev environment or production environments, beta, alpha, whatever the environments it is, accordingly, this URL may not be constant, guys, okay? So hence, developers may not provide you the entire API request URL to you. They may provide only the endpoint which keeps constant and remaining base URL may change, okay? This is a tail URL they will give you in the API documentation for software testers so that software testers can append with the current environment URL, server address of the current environment, okay? Which can be request.in, request.qa, request.dev, request.prod or whatever it is, okay? And append that with the tail URL or end endpoint and then perform testing. So hope guys, you understood what exactly is tail URL whose other name is endpoint in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to explain another API testing concept for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.